Hello from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today we're going to look at wish. Wish, by its definition, can be used in different scenarios when we want to express ourselves. We can use wish whether in the present or the future. If it is for the former, we employ the past simple and continuous, i.e. I wish I was taller. And for the latter, we use past tense modals, such as would and could, to talk about wishes for the future, i.e. I wish I could get a bigger house. When we use wish, we are expressing things that we want but are not possible. It could be different in the present or the future whether they are impossible or very unlikely things. We can also be expressing regrets. Although the structure can be arranged according to how we want to respond, a common sequence is as follows. Subject plus wish plus subject, the verb or the modal verb plus a complement. Bear in mind the tense and intention. Be careful with the difference between wish and hope. For example, if you use wish as in good wishes, using a verb, you should use hope instead of wish. We wish you all the best. We hope you have all the best. In a more formal English, where is used rather than was after wish. I wish I were taller. I wish Laurent were here. I wish to can mean the same as I want to, but it is much more formal and much less common. You can also use it next to a noun to offer good wishes. Some examples are, I wish to see the doctor. It's raining. I wish it weren't. In a nutshell, Wish is commonly used in hypothetical or imagined situations. It has a varied usage for its range. You can also include that with wish, as in I wish that I have another chance. It is important to understand what we want to express with it. We can also use wish with the past perfect and with hypothesis. Congratulations, now you understand how to use WISH in English. Good luck!